Hi guys, I hope you're all well. I had an excellent question the other day. It was about marrying a Thai woman, what to expect in the first 12 months. I want to get out of earshot of the wife, so let's go up to the snooker club. Follow me, come with me. You know that breathing is to want to sleep in. And now the doubt, and now they're gonna make it through the night. Or well, smoke on our water, it's changing its color. It's turning deeper purple, gonna make me feel alright. My head is all stacked up, the ladder is locked up. But if you're clever, you're my guy or something to the top. We'll keep it a secret, don't make it a regret. Or I can tell you might as well just take it to the ground. If ever you wonder how far. Hi guys, so here we are at the snooker club and have I changed my shirt? Maybe. So hot. Made some notes about this video because marrying a Thai woman, what to expect in the first 12 months. And every time I pick the pen up, I thought of more things. Um, so let's try and go through a few with you. What uh, you actually will expect to happen to you. And this is referring to Thai, let's say a Thai woman, whether it's your girlfriend or your newlywed wife. But this can be any partner in Thailand that you meet and take back to your own country. My experience, this is all based on my experiences and my experience was taking men back to the UK. But there are various things that are common right across the group here of um, subjects for you to watch out for and hopefully this video will help you with maybe something you'll forget about uh, and not think about and it'll just make the transition easier for you. I've broken this down into several groups and uh, try and hopefully cover everything. So the first thing I need to say is not all Thai partners are going to be the same. Some are going to be introverted, some extroverts. Every person's different. But the main thing is always going to be communication between yourself and your Thai partner. I think the biggest um, hurdle is language, communication. It took me about 18 months living in the UK to get to a reasonably fluent level of speaking English. Every partner, Thai partner, will be different learning speed. But the most problems I encountered in the first 12 months was the language barrier. Miscommunication, misunderstanding with each other, where Mem thought she understand what I would say, or I thought I'd explained it properly, and we've still got our um, come out with different conclusions of what we were talking about. So the language is probably the biggest thing, that and communication. Socialising in your country for the Thai woman. Now, Thai women probably don't enjoy actually drinking alcohol. Most Thai partners will enjoy eating out, but they'll struggle with the menu. So I recommend going to buffet style restaurants where they can actually physically see the different foods and get to pick them. That makes life much easier. But if you imagine yourself in a Thai restaurant and it's only in Thai writing with no pictures, it's so hard to work out what the food is, unless it's pictures or in front of you. Thai women love music. They love boy bands especially. So don't be shocked if your new Thai partner says, can we go to the Justin Bieber concert? Or some young boy band. <laughs> Just one of those things. Music is a big part of... Uh, Thai partners' lives, Thai women, they love music. Your family back home, um, it's a big thing for your new Thai partner to be accepted into the family, especially if they're elder. Um, it means a lot to them, game face, to be accepted, to be part of the new family. 
it's well worth talking to your family and explaining that it's a big point for your new Thai partner to be accepted. It's very important to them to feel welcome. So you have to work with your family and your Thai partner to build that bond. It also can give you a bit of free time away from your Thai partner if she gets on well with your family. And you do need some free time. The first 12 months, you're almost glued together 24 hours a day whilst your partner's in a new country. So that bit of respite can certainly help. Thai Buddhist temples in your country. It's not that important to some Thai people and they're not that fussed about finding a temple. Mm -hmm. To others though, it's a necessity and part of their culture, religion and life. So you do need to figure out where any Thai temples are near your home. You might have to have a day trip uh, to make a special occasion of it, to take your Thai partner to a temple. It's another place to meet for your Thai partner to meet other Thai people and to socialize and speak Thai. So it really helps. And it is nice days out if you can get to a temple. But not all Thai people, Thai partners want the temples. The other good thing about Thai temple, or maybe your local food shops, Asian markets and things, it's where the local Thai community will meet up and get to meet each other and chat. But be wary of the tribes. You've seen my previous videos with Jib. You might also find your Thai partner does not like socialising with other Thai people in your country. They prefer to stay private. Nothing wrong with that. You might find them gravitating towards Filipino community, which is quite common. And again, there's nothing wrong with that. But it's nice for your Thai partner to try and make some friends. They find it harder to make friends from your country unless you get them into a job. Special days, occasions like birthdays, anniversary, Christmas, these mean nothing to a Thai partner, quite often. They don't know what a birthday card is. They don't understand the your special days. So you do have to explain that properly to them and try and give them some history on, on those days, what you celebrate and how you celebrate. But you'll find if they suddenly forget your birthday, it's not a big thing to them. So don't be surprised. One of the things, Thai, your new Thai partner will be very sociable and they'll find it quite strange if you're not very sociable with all your neighbours, immediate neighbours. Because in Thailand, everyone just goes to each other's houses and knock on the door and in they go. So they will struggle to understand why you're not so sociable with your neighbours. Um, and you have to try and explain the the different social ladders in your country. But uh, don't be surprised if they're confused about that. I mean, Thai people are very sociable and they find it easy to make friends, but they'll struggle with making friends from your country maybe. But as I said, if you can get them a job early on, it'll help their language skills no end and help them make friends. It's highly recommended to try and get, even if it's a, a part-time job in a charity shop, part-time cleaning, anything, that the visa allows so that they can start understanding and seeing more than just the four walls of your house or home. Uh, it brings them on in leaps and bounds. And Mem had two jobs and socialised with lots of her friends and it became a big part of her life in the UK. On the day-to-day -day living, um, Thai women love Thai TV, Thai dramas, and if they're alone and you're out at work, it's in your best interest to get a service, a TV provider, an internet provider um, for your Thai partner. So they can watch the Thai movies, the Thai dramas. It gives them a release and it gives them a feeling of being home as well. So it stops them being so homesick. Definitely a good choice is to spend a few pounds or dollars there uh, with Mem, I, we got a TV uh, internet package so she could watch all the TV channels and all the dramas. And a lot of the films were on back catalogue, so it was great for her to watch. And again, made her feel less homesick. So definitely a good investment. With shopping, 
because your Thai partner's in a new country, every shop is like a new experience and they will happily spend money every day in every shop and not think anything of it. You do have to be a bit careful. I would definitely point them towards the charity shops or if you have yard sales or car boot sales, that can help with the prices. But you don't want to be over extravagant or showing off with any funds and your lifestyle to give the wrong impressions. Try and start off on the right foot and you will be dragged into all those shops. You've got to get used to it. <laughs> Safety in your own country. You will find your Thai partner without thinking will leave your house unlocked, leave the keys in the, the house door, won't have a foggiest about the safety aspects of where you live, your neighbourhood, what is good, what is bad, unless you show them and teach them. And you have to check as well, just keep checking. But also safety out on the road. A Thai person is streetwise in Thailand, but not in your country. Teach your Thai partner things like level crossings, how to cross the road, which direction the cars are coming from, how to use the buses and local transport, you will have to go with your tight partner on all these trips a few times so they learn the basics. You have to make them streetwise in your country. You take it for granted if you're not careful and your tight partner can get hurt in an accident through no fault of their own from not knowing. So be careful and please teach them everything you can think of. One of the misconceptions, uh, Thai people arrive in your country thinking all the pavements are lined with gold. Again, it goes back to the point, don't be too extravagant or showing off or spending too much money in the early days. Try and explain the currency, what the different notes are for, what the values are, and maybe put a board together with the different notes and compare to the Thai notes, getting the exchange rate built into your partner's head. Otherwise, they can end up giving the wrong note for something and not getting the change. Easy mistake when not understanding currencies. Well worth spending some time on that. Food in your country. Um, one of the first things you need to do when you land with your Thai partner is get Thai food, get rice, get the basics, rice. Find your local supermarkets, what Thai food they've got and take your Thai partner there show them the supermarkets. If you've got an Asian supermarket and a big freezer, take them there and stock up on Thai food. It's one of the first things you're going to need when you land is Thai food for your partner. Otherwise she's going to starve for a few days. Although Mem got to enjoy UK European food and liked it, she always had Thai food in the house or the freezer. Another first thing to do if you're going to a cold country Make sure you get a coat, gloves, hats for your Thai partner when they get off the plane. I forgot about that. Might be worth thinking about with your Thai partner cooking Thai food in your house. If they cook slightly different, you can have flames coming off a wok. Maybe get a barbecue outside or an outside kitchen. Or try and explain how your oven, grill, hot plates work and what damage that flames can do to your kitchen. Uh, also keep some windows open because some of those spices can take the oxygen out of the air. One of the very big things you've got to you've got to take note of is your Thai partner will become very jealous, and it's only because they don't understand the language. If you're talking to other people or other women, they can misconstrue what you're talking about. So you really have to be careful there and be aware of that jealousy factor. It's not a bad thing, but you just need to try and communicate and explain what you're talking about to who and why. If you haven't got married yet and you're going to get married in your country, be aware that the Thai women will expect the big Disney dream, the white wedding, the princess in the castle. <laughs> Try and explain the different wedding formats if you're going to get married in your own country. Because that was... Um, can, your, your Thai wife-to-be could be quite disappointed if you've... Uh, if you don't get that down early days and explain what the different types of weddings are. One of the things Thai people don't understand about Western society is in Thailand, youngsters, the younger family, take care of the elders. 
whereas it's quite often the bank of mum and dad in a Western society take care of the youngsters. They find that very hard to understand. And it's a, to a totally different culture from Thailand. You need to try and explain all that and how it works. Your Thai partner will take great care of your elders um, as a normal way of living. But they find it difficult and strange how others don't. So try and talk about that. Get that covered. Your Thai partner is going to get homesick. Having the Thai TV, the dramas, Thai food, Thai ornaments around the house, Thai pictures, going out and visiting Thai temples for a day, or Thai, anything that's going on. Check out the Facebook groups, Thai people living in your area, in your country. See if you can find some days out to stop the homesickness. It really does help. Uh, being on the other side of the planet from your home, you know when you're on holiday it's strange. But you need to be considerate in that, especially. Certainly consider getting your Thai partner a international SIM card. If you don't, when your Thai partner finds your house phone and can work out how to ring Thailand, your phone bills are going to go through the roof. So it's highly recommended you get an internet service or a uh, a phone SIM with an international calls, some sort of program, a plan that your Thai partner can ring home whenever they want and it doesn't break the bank. The other thing to watch is uh, the heating in the house. If you're in a cold country, your heating bill is going to go up and there's no way around it. Even if you buy your Thai partner lots of clothes, they're still going to put the heating up. Get ready for that one. <laughs> Your Thai partner's dreams may be different to yours. You might want to live in Thailand and retire here one day, whereas your Thai partner might want to retire in your country. Make sure you talk about that and talk about potential plans in the future so you're on the same page in the book. The last thing you want is to be married for 10 years and then you want to retire and your wife says, no, I want to stay here. All hell breaks loose. Get that covered early days. I suppose a couple of other bills worth mentioning. Your water bill is probably going to go up because a Thai person will shower three or four times a day. They'll also use the washing machine every hour of every day, given chance. Try and get them into a routine of washing once a week or twice a week, or that will hit your water bill for sure. When your wife wants to go shopping, you're going to need to go with her a few times, or your partner. Things like cosmetics, they're not going to understand on the shelf all the different cosmetics and they'll end up buying the lot. You are going to need to be your Thai partner's best friend for a good part of the first year. You will have to try and explain everything in the shops, what the price is. Again, back to the money. It's not Monopoly money, this English or American money or Australian money. And get them to understand the value of these products and what they are in Thai Bart and what products is what. Definitely getting Thai pictures from their country of the different products and then showing them in the your country's shops. Try and match them up. You can always buy online and get stuff imported. But a lot of, a lot of the big shops now sell stuff from all over the world, so it is easier. But everything from clothes to food to cosmetics, you will be doing a lot of time, spending a lot of time with your partner going around those shops. Be prepared for that. As I say, the first year, you spend a lot of time together and you will have a few arguments, um, but it's usually breakdown in communication or understanding of different language. A lot of patience is needed. Good luck with that. And I suppose the biggest thing you have to get used to is being responsible for each other. You will feel a, um, a bigger responsibility for your Thai partner because they don't understand your language and your country and they're not streetwise. It's a big thing, the extra responsibility, and you have to get used to that pretty quick. But the secret is always going to be communication and trying to slowly communicate. Your Thai partner will get very frustrated and probably throw things out the window. But you've just got to come away, give them time, and then come back and revisit the same issues. 
patience is a virtue, definitely. And from this video, the, the best advice I can give from my experience is to get your Thai partner working. It gives them more confidence, they get to meet people, the language skills come on leaps and bounds. Men went to college on evening classes for almost three years and she met new people there and she started to understand the language uh, and conversational English a lot quicker. Made a difference. Well worth the investment. She enjoyed it and her English has come on so much because of that. But if you can get them working, also they're earning their own money, which gives them a bit more worth, a bit more self-confidence, a bit more meaning to life. So it's a really good step to take early days. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that and it gave you an insight for those of you thinking of marrying a Thai woman. Sorry if this came across a, like a bit of a moan. I should point out that marrying Mem was the best decision I ever made in my life. So what is uh, your help and advice for those marrying or thinking of marrying a Thai woman for the first 12 months of their time together. Leave it in the comments below and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.